and back once again in this uh, video I'm going to be going over recording and editing uh, MIDI and audio uh, and shall be fun uh, so what we'll do start with a kick I'm trying to drill this into your head hope you don't mind okay well let's start off with a loop here okay a drum loop okay we have that perfect then we'll drop in a kick drum okay now I like that I like that we're gonna do something different I like that body I like that I like that body of <laughs> I like that uh, both these kicks pretty nice let's zoom in on them I'm gonna show you something new both these kicks uh, are different obviously this one has a nice punch so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab it drop it over here make sure show fades is on I'll zoom in and I just dropped it on there and then with this line you can mix the two you can add a, a click from one kick and then add it to the body of another without stacking them up and dealing with mixing and ugh, that terrible thing so we we have a kick of the we have two we have a brand new kick now which sounds frightfully similar That's weird. Uh, maybe they're the same. It's weird. You guys are cheaters. So that was a terrible example, but we'll continue. Uh, you can do that with basically anything. Another trick: you can add a, a snare to uh, the kick in the same way. The snare at the beginning because it has that nice kind of punchy transient. Now uh, we'll control D, right? Then we'll uh, kind of loop this. And we'll play it with uh, the rest of the guys. We'll lower the volume slightly. So now we will drop in a MIDI track. And what we'll do, uh, we will drop in Silent 1. Oops. Select MIDI. Drop in Silent 1 pretty cool we will find a bass for the sake of ease there's no bass okay bass would be BS let's try these perfect okay we'll try that I'll go to my trusty keyboard So, what I'll do is I will loop this part uh, and hit record, and there's a there's a lead in. So I'll find it. So it starts in F. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, record it and play over it, and you'll hear me kind of do uh, my recording. Take that. That's cool. Uh, so it only recorded this end part. You can loop that forever, and as long as it's recording, don't forget to turn that off. Uh, as long as it's recording, you can try and like just leave it playing until you figure something out. Um, I figured it out pretty quickly. So we'll take that, move the play option over, and we'll elongate the loop. Right, it's a little off, but we're still good, still good indeed. So what I'll do is I'll consolidate that. Boom. Okay. Uh, I will quantize. I'll set quantize settings. And uh, its current grid. What I'll do is I'll set it to sixteenths. Start, and I'll give that a try. Uh, and that what that does is it snaps it 
to where uh, the 16th would be. So we'll give it a listen. And that automatically did it. Uh, and I've left uh, the end part, so it's more of a natural. I still leave the natural bit. I can quantize it, so it quantizes the end. The, s the start was quantized, and the end uh, can be quantized too. So what we'll do here is we'll do that, and it psh, snaps it back. But what that does is that kind of kind of takes away the human aspect of playing, which I don't really like. So I'll undo that, and now we have we have it back. Uh, so it's more natural, but it is quantized, kind of okay. So we have that, uh, and what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll edit the MIDI, and editing the MIDI is basically give it. I'll uh, I'll hold Shift while I select I select everything. I hold Shift and then I press down. That moves it down an octave, so we get uh, the bass lower in an octave. Cool beans. So now uh, I'll sidechain that, get rid of that, and I'll sidechain it to the kick. The kick's a little too intense. I'll just quickly mix that a little bit. I really like that punch, that 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 flap in your face. Not flap in your face. I'm never gonna hear the end of that. The slap. Uh, it's very punchy. It's cool. And uh, the bass. What I'll do. I uh, will sidechain that with the compressor. Sidechain that to the kick, which is 15. You can name them too, but I don't do that. You can see what it's doing. What you can also do is you can also uh, post before the kick goes into the sidechain. Uh, you can EQ it. So this kick has a lot of uh, low end to it so the the side chain um, is a is triggered twice it's triggered a little too much and you can hear that now it's the full kick but if we EQ it hit that EQ button right you it only registers the tip of the kick it doesn't affect the kick at all or, uh, the original sample but it's kind of a it's like a pre side chain um, EQ so on and off. You want that smooth uh, release. So we'll listen to it now. So now we have we've recorded in uh, the MIDI. Uh, we've we're editing it. We can add little bits uh, here and there. Our, that doesn't sound too good. story so now um, if you have an outboard synthesizer which I do uh, uh, we can copy that uh, that MIDI clip and uh, move it up to this guy here which is uh, my virus sample or not sample my virus channel um, and uh, the MIDI out is going into uh, virus three, so it's right here in front of me. So what now? What what it's doing now? And that's a little too low, so I will select it all again. Uh, hold shift, press up. Maybe press up again. do uh, let's quickly find something <laughs> cool.
cool. And what that's doing, so if you have a, a synthesizer, even a voice, like a vocalist, or you're singing, um, what it's doing is it's sending MIDI out into, uh, uh, it, you can send it to anything, but what it's doing is it's sending it to, this channel of MIDI is sending it to channel 1 on my virus here, which is right here. Um, and what that's doing is that's affecting uh, the sound, only the sound, and then that's outputting to output a 1, which is, you can select it, so it's in, uh, post effects, yeah, and uh, virus ti snow, and then this one is virus ti 2, and then 3, so it's uh, MIDI channel 1, 2, 3, and audio channel, so it's going, all these, MIDI is going in, audio is coming out, and what that's doing is that's playing here, and that's audio coming in, not MIDI, uh, and you can record all that fun stuff, so what you're doing is you hit record, and that's fun and good and that records all of it what it did is it kind of stuttered the arpeggiator and the virus is kind of broken sometimes but that did is that uh, recorded the audio in but right now it's not playing but a little trick I can do I can mute the MIDI and then just drop that down here and then it's here and I could such in or do whatever uh, and uh, you can literally, as long as your hard drive has enough space, you can record forever uh, this channel. So what I'll do is I'll mute this. This is muted. This is muted. This is muted. Uh, and I will unmute the MIDI. So instead of like muting uh, like the volume, you can just mute the MIDI going into the instrument and you're good to go. So what I'll do is I can record and then I can do like tweaking and it'll it'll record all my tweaking. Oh, and I stopped a little too early there. Anyway, you could just do that. And uh, it recorded that whole thing. So you can record for hours. And uh, say if you have like a synth, uh, you can record the kick or whatever. You can do live tweaks and whatnot. And then uh, once you get something that sticks, you can hit the space bar again, and then you have it. And, uh, you know, that's all well and good. Uh and editing. So I have these two playing now. Fail. Uh, and yeah, uh, that's basic uh, recording audio and MIDI. Uh, recording uh, a vocal uh, could be just uh, selecting an area uh, wearing headphones into a mic um, and looping it then you can just do take after take after take and just loop and loop and loop and then uh, just do that till you get some that sticks you can even loop uh, a particular section which is cool uh, like the bridge or whatever and just you know you don't have to stop and then rewind you could just do it over and over and over again and that's pretty pretty, uh, pretty positive and that's a uh, beginner's uh, MIDI and audio editing and recording and we'll get into cool stuff later okay